man, I, I shoot from the hip, man. I tell it like it is. It's just like, you know what that means? That means I don't read. I don't have nearly enough uh, time put in on this topic, but I'm just like, you know, but I am arrogant enough to think that I can solve it without needing any in, any of the information. Like, I got one for you. I know this full-on fucking narcissist. Not me. Um, another one. This full-on, fu- as I sit here doing a podcast by myself. Um, I know this full-on fucking narcissist. And for years, <clears throat> from the moment JFK Jr.'s plane went down to like a fucking two years ago, this dude was telling me without a, a, a fucking shred of doubt that he knew exactly what happened. And he just made up all of this shit. All of this shit. Oh, oh did, I'll tell you what happened. Oh, dude, I'll tell you what happened. Dude, he didn't even get his license up here. Dude, he went down to Florida. They're like, oh, God, you're a fucking JFK fucking junior. Right? Dude, he had like fucking eight hours and the guy just gave him his fucking license. That's what this guy said. And um, and on and on and on and on and on and on and on. And then he bought a plane that was beyond his ability and that he was too cocky because he was a Kennedy and all of this shit just indicting this dead person, right? So lo and behold... Old Freckles here eventually goes out, gets himself a pilot's license, and one day it dawns on him. One of the things that he learned is that anytime there's an accident, there's an FAA report about a year later. So I was like, why don't I just read the report? And I read the report, and nothing this guy said was true. This guy made a YouTube video, you know, also about it that was incredible. And... um I was reading saying this guy, most of his hours were with instructors, which most people it isn't because they can't afford to do that. This and, and he had done, he actually had passed his written on his instrument exam and had experience, you know, uh, he had like half the hours he needed to fly under instrument and all of that. He was an incredibly careful pilot, cautious pilot and all of that. He just ran into a series of things that ended up being beyond him, which can fucking happen to anybody, um, which is the scary thing about flying and all of this shit. So I went to this guy, hadn't talked to him in years. I said, hey, dude, you know, you know, I got my pilot's license, right? And he was like, yeah, be careful up there, dude. You want to stay on the ground where everybody's driving 90 text messaging without fucking looking at the road, dude. All these fucking Tesla people taking naps while their car keeps driving like they're in fucking Night Rider. That's where you want to be, nice and safe. On the highways where there's a cross and fucking flowers on the side of the road every half fucking mile. Um, and I'm like, yeah, I know, dude. I know, it's dangerous. You're right. You're right. Listen, you know, uh, there's a whole FAA report on that JFK Jr. thing. You should really read it. And he goes, I don't need to read it. I go, I'm telling you, I go, everything that you're saying is wrong. This guy was actually a really good pilot, really cautious and all that. And I said, and he started saying again what he thought happened with full fucking confidence. I'm like, dude, that's not what happened. I go, there's an FAA report. Read it. And he goes, I don't need to read it. (laughs) And I just bursted out laughing. And I was like, all right, man. That's what I did. And that's the only thing that shuts somebody like, he goes, what? What do you mean, all right? I got nothing, nothing. I get it. I get it. You you know what happened. Well, no, dude. Why? It's just like, I just told you there's a whole, there's a group of people that that's their job to figure out what went wrong. You're not even in aviation. You don't even have fucking a model plane. And you're telling me that you know more than the fucking FAA knows without even reading a fucking report. I got a little heated. Just people like that. You know what's so fucking dumb is I know they're never going to agree with me, but I will fucking walk up that hill every time and ring that doorbell every fucking time. What am, what am I looking for? What am I looking to gain that they're going to be like, you know what, Bill? You are right. Thank you for setting me straight. That's just not going to happen on any level. Okay, whatever. Um, 